What's up, family? All right, so I've been receiving my fair share of trolling. I get these crazy messages on my YouTube, especially from, you know, the racist. But I also get a fair share of disrespect from black males, at least what appear to be black males. Some of them are active accounts, but others... They have the little avatars and stuff like that, and they're fake. You can tell they're fake, and it could be anybody. But I do get a fair share of so-called woke black males, and their biggest issue seems to be any time that I miss an opportunity to disrespect Barack Obama or when I criticize a black person who's involved in a situation, an incident, with a non-black person, even if the black person is wrong. Now, what spurred this video is Jacoby Brissett, quarterback for the New England Patriots. He wrote a message on his Instagram to Barack Obama. It was basically a thank you message where he thanked Barack for becoming the first black president and inspiring him to follow his own dreams. Now, they said that I was cooning <clears throat> because I basically agree with uh, Jacoby that he did, that Barack did inspire a lot of kids, a lot of black kids especially. Now, <clears throat> let me explain something to you cocksucking motherfuckers. Cooning it's when you reinforce negative stereotypes of a particular group, the group that you're in. Cooning is also when your criticism of your community outweigh your contribution to your community. I submit to you that I am neither, all right? And as far as Barack Obama not doing enough for black people, they specifically cited him not coming to the aid of young black males that have been murdered in America by these dirty ass cops, okay? So let me explain something to you since you're so goddamn woke. You should know that Barack Obama could not get all of these things that he wanted done because He's not in this by himself. You need votes. You need people to be in compliance with your actions. You can't just do what you want to do. I know it seems like Trump is just doing what he wants to do. And for a large part, he is because he has the votes. He has the Senate. He has Congress. He has a lot of people who supports his agenda, who's going to vote his way. The only thing the Democrats who don't support what he supports, only thing that they can do is filibuster. They can slow it down with a bunch of mumbo jumbo. But at the end of the day, if I got five votes and you have four votes, I am going to win because I have a majority. What do you want? Barack to do, what would you have had him do? Just get on the air every chance he get, get on TV and call out the police every day. Black people getting killed by the police every day, unjustly. You expect him to just point people out all day? Get on the news every, every day. The cop was wrong, this was wrong, every day. It don't work like that. Now, it's a good thing that Barack was the president and not Willie D because Willie D would have been dead on the first day because I would have really thought that I could go in there and change some shit. I knew that the president had to answer the people, but I thought that we were further along that he could get some things done if he had done the things that he wanted to do with the right intentions. I felt like some things could get done. But 
that really proved to me how backwards we are and how much further we have to go in this country. America's problems are systemic. When you call me a coon, let me tell you something, cocksucker. If I wanted to coon, that would be very, very easy to do and easy to get paid doing because if, if I was cooning, the money would be in abundance. Man, you, Republicans have been trying to recruit me for over 20 years. They've been trying to get me for over 20 years. I won't fuck with them. For the main reason is because the racist whites in this country are too comfortable in the Republican Party. Not just the racist white, racist of other ethnicities. They're in that same group. They're too comfortable. So I could never, under the structure that they have right now, vote Republican. I could never join that party. The races in America are too comfortable in the Republican Party. Now, like I was saying, America's problems are systemic. When you start talking about housing discrimination, where you live can determine your quality of health. It can determine what you eat, how safe you are, the quality of school that your children have, the incarceration. One, I mean, 700 out of every 100,000 Americans are locked up. If you're black, it's 4,000 out of every 100,000. Employment for the last 60 years, blacks have been twice uh, more unemployed than whites. If you, uh, ch if you have a, a white sounding name, you're 50 chance, you have a 50% chance of getting a call back for a job. This is systemic. This shit runs deep. This is deeper than one man. I started a Patreon page to get people to support the page for people who have who see value in the videos that I do. They can support the page and we could do more videos, get more editors, get a bigger staff, bring the quality up, all that good stuff. Now, some people have asked for people to get involved for free. I didn't. I feel like Fax Change ain't robbery so, I, robbery, so I offered to reward anybody that joined uh, my Patreon page. I get some message from some bomb ass nigga saying, man, I'm so tired of these YouTubers uh, asking for money. If you was real with it, you'd do it for free. Bitch, ain't nothing free in the world. If you really want something, if you, if you really want something, then you'll pay for it. People pay for what they want. You ain't tired of People asking, you're not tired of people on YouTube asking for money. What you're tired of is anybody asking you to make a monetary sacrifice for what you find value in and for what you've been getting for free all this time. That's what you're tired of. The money is in cooning, dude. If I wanted to coon, the money would be in abundance. I wouldn't have to ask for shit because the coons is getting paid. The people who are doing things to, to railroad black people and dog us out, they getting paid. You go to their Patreon page, they got thousands of Patreons. They got thousands of patrons. You go to the pages where the dudes are doing comedy and doing silly shit, stupid shit, they got thousands of patrons. But you go to somebody page like mine where I'm trying to put a message out there and I'm covering these issues y'all asking me to cover and talking about these things that mainstream America won't talk about. I got 20, 30 goddamn patrons. But y'all the main ones talking shit. But it's an old saying. You put your money where your mouth is. So you tell me who the fuck is cooning. Tell me who cooning. For the past 30 years, Dude, I've been 
speaking at elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, universities, prisons, youth facilities. I go where other artists wouldn't dare go. To the heart of the youth facilities where you got murderers at in California, in Texas, in Oklahoma. Been there, done that. When I walk in the door, they can't believe it because they say they invited so many others to come and they never showed up. I showed up. I done did the marching, the protesting, the boycotting, the giving the money. I write the check. I stroke the check. Done all that shit. Lit my influence. Done all of that. So you tell me who the fuck is cooning. You got me fucked up, homie. If I wanted to coon, the money would be in abundance. Would be no problem. That would be no problem whatsoever. The money ain't in standing up for black folks. The money ain't in calling out injustice. The money ain't in pointing out crooked cops, corruption, corrupt politicians. The money is siding with them, getting on their side because evil runs America. And that's why it's so damn hard for people that do what I do to survive. I'm going to be good no matter what. I'm going to tell you that. But it's very hard for other, others to do it because you motherfuckers talk all that shit. Y'all talk all that shit about who doing what, who ain't doing this, who ain't doing that, and what we need to do and come together and all this shit. But you ain't doing a motherfucking thing but talking shit. Now, you say Barack Obama ain't done nothing for black people in eight years? Let's say that's true. But what the fuck have you done for black people in the last eight years? Like I say, if you like the videos I'm presenting, join my Patreon page. Go to patreon.com slash Willie D. Live. The link is in the description. No more talk. What, what the man is talking about. Damn. Order, Texas.